Hi guys, my name is Jesus Gomez, and this is my review for The Throne of Blood, so I hope you enjoy. Um, my overall response to the film, I thought it was a great adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth, and it was really good to see how a Japanese take on the story was. You know, having, having read Shakespeare last semester for my class and having read Macbeth, it, I was really familiar with the elements of the story and plot, and I was really able to connect the two things together. What stands out to me in, on the, is the focus of the characters and the expression of how, of the characters and, and on how they relate the emotions to the audience. I thought it was really well done, especially the main protagonist, our so-called Macbeth in this film. You know, he, he did a really good job of showing emotion and character to his, to his, to his guy. Um, I thought he did a really good job of, like, slowing down, having slow gestures that really, really does help emphasize the null theater and you know he really did a good job of conflicting with his morality and, and pretty much conflicting with the obsession of the prophecy which I'll get into in a moment um, one of the things that stood out to me was one of the conventions of no drama is the living person's pieces and the conflict within mad madness and obsession with the process prophecy and I thought overall throughout the whole play there was this conflict play narrative with the prophecy and I thought the character did a really good job of showing like how much it consumes you and how much the prophecy really got in the got, got, got in conflict between his wife and himself and even like his best friend um, so it was really well done um, I want to say I know one of the moments that it ties into the prophecy as well it talks about that when the trees rise he'll be defeated which I thought was pretty funny because I know after reading Macbeth itself, it's the shields of men that wore the trees that really is the fallout of Macbeth. But it was really good to see here in this play how the trees themselves, the people disguised as trees in the army, you know, symbolizes this idea of the prophecy, which was pretty good to see. Um, looking back in the readings himself and in connecting some of the known drama to the work, I thought the usage of the, the spiritual character, the, the witch in the forest guy, was really well done. I mean, it, it goes hand in hand what no drama is all about, especially when he's sitting there singing and he's rotating this wheel. You know, I, I thought it was, that, that is exactly what no drama is all about, and it was really, really well done. It, it gave this supernatural element to the witch, to the spirit of the forest character. Um, yeah, and it was just it was really well done. I know, I know. After watching our film of the Kurozuka script and the Archiagara play, it was pretty much hand in hand. Everything the spirit of the forest was doing was everything that play, the, the main character in that play does as he spins the wheel. So it was really good done overall. Um, another convention that I really liked was the gestures, as I talked about in the beginning of my intro of the main character and how he really uses the slow gestures and no drama to synthesize emotion and I know there's this key moment in the story where like his wife says I'm a child and he's like completely in shock and slows down and moves back and then later on in the story when he's getting ready to have this feast with his, his friend um, he doesn't show up the spirit comes back the illusion comes back and he's like just taken away and, and backing up and really really did, did a really great job of showing how the gestures of no drama really s make emotion stand out. Um, another element that I noticed was not so much of the playwright, not so much of the production of the characters, but really the element of the staging within the no, no drama. I know it's, it's because of this film, it's really hard to connect it to, but I know what it, re reading, the, reading the work itself and it says the four pillars of the staging how everything's always set and consistent and set there I thought I thought the film was really hard to do but I thought the the room itself with the majority of our film takes place and you know, in the house with, with him and his wife are always talking really set the stage for our, our film I really thought that that was a great connection to no drama having this one central setting in this big overall view of, of the film and yeah, um, continuing on with my last pro prompt, um, you know, I thought overall it was well done, the whole film in connection to no drama. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, the, the techniques they used was really good. The, the 
the Macbeth character and the Lady Macbeth character. And But one of the things that struck me as I guess I was watching the film and I read the section of the of the story was, I know it talks about Yaganaka, I'm sorry, I butchered his name. In the reading, he talks about the stage or environment and how that relates to family characteristics. And I thought the castle of the spider web was really the symbolic structure figure for um, a great sense of strength and great sense of family. And throughout the story, we're always shown this castle, even though like the winds are hitting it, we're always showing the strength and family and, and unity within it. But what once Mac the Macbeth character in our film has been killed, it is really cool to see at the end how the last thing they show is this castle, the spiderweb castle, and then it's nothing, and then we have just a post reminding us of what it was before, which I thought was really well done, and it really, really emphasizes what Yorgana was talking about, about this family setting within the environment, and I think he even goes on to talk about how, like, in some no drama, even if the main protagonist is, like, her or cannot carry on the story, the production still has to go on, and I thought it was, like, a real ironic take on once he has been killed, they show the, the stage and the castle, and it goes on and it's left nothing but a, a, a pillar indicating what was there before. So yeah, I really hope you had. I hope you enjoy this conversation. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.